Good morning, everybody. Morning. Happy Monday. How was your yeah. weekend, everybody? I feel like we say it's Monday again all the time. Yeah. <laughs> More often than once a week. I was confused yeah. on Friday, thought it was Monday, so I was Did very, you? you know. He was behind. Then. I was very behind. But this morning we are looking at budget-friendly infant carriers. We have got a variety of different brands from Joy. We've got some Maxi Cozy um, and Oyster. But yeah, really nice budget-friendly, but still really, really lovely car seats yeah. um, and different options to look at. All, all, all apart from one, we've got our, our R129 um, car seats, so still i size car seats, tested to the latest regulation. Obviously, being an infant carrier, it's probably the first car seat that baby's going to use. Um, I know you can get from birth seats that go longer, but yeah. generally most people will have an infant carrier. So really important that it is a, it's a purchase that you kind of look into and make sure you get the right one for you, your baby and your car. We've got lots of good mornings. Safely get baby home. Yes. I say there's lots of different options with car seats and I know a lot of people from video because they say it's a whirlwind. I don't know where yeah. to start. Yeah, they don't know where to look because um, there's so many options. Yeah, there's just so many and a very variety of prices, aren't they? Yeah. From so you can spend... Fifty pounds, you could spend four hundred pounds. And people, uh, what 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 do why? you get, and why are you spending more money? So fingers yeah. crossed. After this live, you'll know all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, we have got a lot of our most popular and sort of our budget friendly infant carriers here as well. So that's really good. We've got lots of mornings. A lot of people joining us this morning, which is lovely. As um, usual, we've got two prizes. Uh, well, not as usual. It's not always two prizes, but this morning we've got two winners, and we are giving away what we would class as car seat essentials. Yeah. So they are, we're giving away two safety first um, back seat car mirrors. Really easy. We've got one um, actually set up on the rig. Really so easy it's this to fit. Cute, yeah, really um, easy to fit. You've got two buckles to go under the headrest and round the headrest. And it's this cute bear shape. Um, just means that you can keep an eye on baby. You haven't got to like, keep yeah. stopping the car on your journey. You can just, just check, check your mirror and you can check the thing. Yeah, make sure that they're happy. And safe in Definitely the car. one thing I would say add to your wish list, add to your essentials. Definitely. Yes, one thing that not, you don't necessarily think about, no, isn't it? That's right. Um, but at least then you've got it, especially if it's first baby, extra reassurance. But I think everyone needs one. I still, Definitely. my son is still three, is still three years old. He's, not still, <laughs> he's, still, he's still, still three for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, a year, yeah, is it since, since November? <laughs> um, but he is three years old, still rear facing, and I still have a mirror for him yeah. because I just like to check. He's got his brother and his sister in the back seat with him as well, so they keep an eye on yeah. it. It's but nice to know. Yeah, it's just nice to know how they, what they're doing and what they're getting up to, especially yeah. with a baby. Yeah. Probably not a lot, but you know, <laughs> as and we get a bit older, yeah. <laughs> you never know. So but these can range from lasting between 12, 15, 18 months, depending on the car seat and depending on the size of baby. If you've got a smaller, premature baby, maybe the car seat will last them um, a lot longer. If you've got a bigger baby, maybe you're going to have to move into the next stage sooner rather than later. I love, we know we're, we're British people because people talk about the weather. I said, I did have a nice weekend. Oh. And they're talking about the weather. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it was a nice weekend, though, yeah. the weather, wasn't it? People are like, yeah, it's not really nice today, though. They're having a conversation with each other in the comments. <laughs> it looks it's not that nice outside this morning. It's nice that they're chatting together. No, it we've is. had some um, really nice walks with the new puppy. Yeah. Taking her out in the nice weather. I'd got my coat on, expecting to. I know, really yeah, like it's nice come to what, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, take it off. Yeah. It's, it's why I, I went for a walk again with, with, with the dog, and that's nice, yeah. what we do. But yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was like, it was like a summer evening. Like it's, yeah. it was just really no, warm. no wind. No, it was really, really nice. Sun was out. Yep. Yeah. Um, Joe Meekin, fingers, fingers crossed, I got your name right. Um, I have this mirror and just realised their ears, that my ears were upside down. <laughs> <laughs> you got your teddy bear head upside down. <laughs> um, oh, I thought they were tabs to move it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they do help to move it. So it's it designed to look cute as well. Yeah. So you just untighten this little thing here which then allows you to move it to where you need to move it. So it just gives you a bit of adjustability. And when it's in the right place, you can then just... I'm going to do it the right way. Yeah, that way. You can then just turn yeah. that and it will tighten it to keep it I in like that. It's got a good range of height and yeah, change. Yeah, depending on your car vehicle. And age of child, you may need to obviously change the as angle they as they yeah. move. Yeah, because you can keep this on all the time that they're rear facing. Yeah. It's, it's not just, just for newborns. No, it's really, really handy. A lot of people are saying um, they need one of these, they didn't even think about it. And it's yeah. such a great pri uh, price as well, yeah. £13. Um, somebody has said Emma Hall, I think it was. Amazing, I would need two for my sister-in-law. She's having twins next week. Oh, wow. They yeah. are on our website. We have got lots of them, so feel free to add them to your basket. So get them ready to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really easy and really, really nice. Um, 
I've never had a mirror with my. F I, oh, I've never had a mirror in my first year. So it yeah, can't some people don't have no. them, but um, it is. I think it is. It's just that bit of reassurance yeah. when you can't see when they are facing the other way. Yeah. If that's one of the reasons that you're trying to rush to forward facing, having yeah. a mirror might allow you to keep them. And you don't have to break the bank. Like. It's nice no. price, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice absolutely. little price for. You can for get it. different ones as well. You can get wider ones. You can have ones that have lights on, so you can even see them in the dark. Yeah. Um, all singing or dancing, but this is quite a basic one, but does everything you need for a good price. Joshy Joshy asks, does it fit most car seats? If you mean in the little mirror, it goes on, so it will fit in most cars. Your vehicle car seat, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it will fit on most of your car. Um, it's, yeah. it's universal, so you can completely adjust it. Do some cars have a fixed headrest, so you can't move it from the yeah, bottom. Yeah, I think so. So in that case, you might just need to do it around the top, but generally, you can just lift it a little bit just to get it under. You can always put it back yeah. down if you find you need like it. Like one of our rigs, we, we can't get it underneath, so we, we use the... You can then lower it once yeah. it's attached. I find these, it's easier to go in from the boot so you can see the back of it and then these are adjustable. So you can tighten as needed. So where should we start with infant carriers? I think I might start with light ones today. Yeah, so we have got a variety. One of the car seats that infant carriers a lot of people do like to look at is lightweight ones, don't they? Because it makes it a little bit easier, it's yeah. a little bit lighter for so, the weight of a child. Yeah, they're all quite heavy with weight of a child yeah. in any way, and you'll find that you stop doing it after a little while because it's just too heavy to carry a baby in. But you do see lots of mums still in the car or wherever. I don't know how they manage it. No, I, I struggle to carry the baby in. But um, I put the dolls in here and I'm like, well, that makes a bit <laughs> of a difference. <laughs> but there are more lightweight options. So if you've got a bad back or just a little bit weak and, and you can't carry a switch or you weight. Don't, you just not make your life a like little me. bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> then you can go for a if more lightweight If you like somebody like me, I like a lightweight car seat. Yeah. Um, it just makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? I think the average between, they used to average between like four or five kilos yeah. for an infant carrier, whereas now you can get much lighter options. Um, a couple of those are the Joy Ice Snug and the Maxi Cozy Tinker. They're very similar. Uh, the Ice Snug is 3.25 kilos and your tink is 3.2 kilos. Yeah. So quite um, a big difference really, yeah. in those. So I'll just show you the ice snug first of all. So um, from Joy, it's an ice size seat. Goes up to 75 centimetres, which will probably last you um, a year. And it's reduced at the moment to 89.99. Yeah. And um, you can use it on any of the eye bases. So you can use it on the eye base, which just takes the infant carrier. And that is on offer at the minute for $69.95. Yeah. Um, or you can use it on the iBase Advance or the iBase LX, which then allows you to use the next stage seat on the same base. Yeah. So if you want longevity from your base, you can do that. It comes in two colours, doesn't it? It comes in um, yeah. grey flannel which is this? and coal, which we're hiding in the back there as well. I, yes. do, I don't know why I brought two in. Then I was like, um, I'll just, just so you can see the colour options, you know? Yeah. You can see the both colours there. Um, and it also does say on there about how lightweight it is. So they say it's the lightest with eye size at 3.25 kilos. So it depends whether there's an extra point something on that seat because yeah. that's 3.2. But the Tinker did come out after, so. Yeah, Tinker's one of the newer ones, isn't yeah. it? So you've got an independent hood, so you don't have to attach it to your handle or anything. You can belt fit it in. So same as, as normal, uh, lap belt over the lap of baby and diagonal through the blue belt guide at the back. It's really nice, you can just follow that blue guide. <coughs> yeah. So really easy. You can use it with any of the Joy Push chairs on the adapters, um, or it's also been tested on quite a few other ones yeah. as well. Lovely newborn insert in there with the wedge built in. So once baby outgrows that, it's usually they say 60 centimetres, which is average three to four month old. Yeah. You can pop that out and then you've got a much roomier seat for little one. Yeah. Buttons on here to remove it from your push chair car seat adapters. And but I harness. think that's easy as well. When it's a little bit of a lighter car seat, yeah. it's easier to get yeah. it on and off the push chair yeah, frame, isn't it? Yeah, it's weight holding it down. Yes, yeah. gravity. Um, you do have your adjustable harness, and then obviously just tighten there as well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Lucy Ann, I love the name of the Tinker. <laughs> tinker, I know. It reminds because what we've just called our dog, Inca. Yeah. So I sometimes call it Inca Tinker. Inca Tinker, yeah. Of a car seat. Um, upright position of your handlebar when you're travelling in the car, either on the base or yeah. when it's belted in as well. And your hood over, because that works as an extra crash defence, doesn't it? The, the hood. Yeah, so some people, that's feature. quite an often a uh, common question people ask. Should I have my hood up or down in the car? It's completely up to you. It's fine to travel like this, fine to travel like that, but yeah. it is um, another barrier. If, if, if you're in a collision, fingers crossed you're not. Yeah. Touch wood. Well, always say, but yeah. If you are, um, it is another barrier from anything flying around in the car, small items, to protect your child. Yeah. So it's up to you. But if it is, um, obviously it will protect them from the sun as well. Yeah. 
Um, and then somebody's asking, uh, can you use all these car seats from birth? You can, they all, all go from, from 40 centimetres. <coughs> so yeah, right from yeah. birth. Um, and uh, Lisa, I think she must have missed when you said that you can seat belt this car seat in. Yeah. Um, or there are three different Isofix bases available that you can purchase that will, the ice nook will go on. It all depends if you want to go for the next stage seat. There's the um, iQuest and the iVenture, which are your next stage seats, which take you up to 105 centimetres, average four-year-old, which you can use on the, the iBase LX or iBase yes. Advance. Yeah. But if you want to go for the cheaper option of the iBase, which is 69.95 to use it on, still um, ice fixed in, but it just takes this seat. It won't yeah. then last for the next seat. Yeah. But yeah, 89.99, 89.99 for the ice nook. Yeah. Um, Josie, Josie. Josh, Joshy, sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful there. Um, the hood is showerproof. It's not waterproof, so it wouldn't be a case of obviously. Um, it's, it'd be fine if you are just going in and out of shops or something. If you are, if it's slightly. But as showing. we always say, baby shouldn't be kept in the car seat as a newborn for no. longer than like half an hour time frame. So generally, you're not going to be in it. They're not going to be in there long enough to need a um, no. rain cover. But mm. you can buy rain covers for car seats. Yeah, you if can. you find in it, you need in it. Yeah. Um, so this is the Maxi Cozy Tinker. Um, it's £139. So for an eye size seat, it's quite a good price. Yeah. You get the base, which is actually on offer, it was reduced from £119 down to £99.95. And again, it's one that you can use to 75 centimetres, so about a year old. Yeah. So it's some really of the, nice one. Yeah, it is, it is lovely. Really white, lightweight at 3.2 kilos. Independent hood. I know some of the older seats, you can still see you've still got the little hooks on there that you used to have. Um, your Cabrio Fix, your Pebble Plo, uh, Plo? Pebble Plo. Plo and Pebble Plus. Um, the hood's attached to it, but now they've done an independent hood, like which is listened nice to, to people. see. They've listened yeah, to people the what they like. Because you can probably see it on the Oyster Capsule. It was similar to that yeah, sort of like style. This. So it attaches. So if you do move your hood back, you then lose uh, your, your handle back, you lose your hood. Yeah. But this you don't. Again, a lovely newborn inset in there with the wedge attached to the back to create a flatter position for a newborn baby. And then you can take that out around 60 centimetres to allow you to use it for a bigger child. Yeah. Buttons to remove. And again, if you are belt fitting it in, you can use the blue guides, lap over lap, diagonal around the back through it's the Nice skirt. easy little one to remember, isn't it? Lap yeah. to lap, round the back, diagonal around the back. That's it. Sometimes it's quite often people will just grab the seat belt and take it round and just go straight round and then do something with this at the front. But if so you have to think about it, if you, that was the collision was to happen, that's just nothing over the top, seat. yeah. There's nothing keeping that top end down at all. So that bit first, buckle in and then round the back. Not with this car seat because you can't melt it no. in, but I'm just showing you. Uh, we can show you idea. how to fit one after yeah. the marvel. Um, so, yeah. Um, a nice car seat, uh, entry level, eye size car seat on the R129 regulation from Maxi Cozy. Lucy Ann, do you sell rain covers for the Cloud Z? Yes, we yes. do sell. There's a specific Cloud Z, Z rain cover. Rain yeah. cover. Yeah. yeah. So they are on so our website. Because that reclines, it has um, to be it, slightly it gives bigger. It a bit yeah. bigger, more room, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, uh, I'm just going to move along. You're going to go that way. Go naturally come this way with it. Yeah. So this is um, a popular car seat because the, it matches and goes with the Oyster 3 and it's in a lot of their bundles. So it's the Oyster Capsule. <clears throat> so you can use this from birth to 83 centimetres, so it's supposed to last you quite a bit longer, maybe more to the 15 um, month mark. Like we said, this one does have your hood actually attached, attached to your handle, mm -hmm. which it's not a bad thing necessarily but you do lose your hood in the car because when you fit in you should move your handlebar into this position obviously it means you can't use your hood yeah you do so that just something feature. to be aware of and then it's really easy to pop it back in place because i know some people as well they like using the hood um if it is a really sunny day yeah. and you just want to keep that sun out especially newborns they're yeah, yeah, very definitely. sensitive to light aren't they yeah. things as well um but yeah, it's just, a, just something to be mindful of, yeah. of the hoods. So the fabrics will match your um, pushchair fabrics. We always make a bit of a big deal about this, saying that it really doesn't matter. Um, your car seat, your carry cot, your seat unit are not going to be on the chassis at the same time. So if the match fabrics match, it really doesn't matter. They're not going to be on together. No. But people do like that all their items are in the yeah. same fabric, don't they? So um, this is in your Mercury, which will match your Mercury Oyster 3. But if you're quite popular with Oyster colours, they have a lot, don't they? Yeah. 
so and loads of new ones various. coming through too. I so I would imagine the car seats um, will all be in the new colours as well. Um, but yeah, it will look completely match. And then you've got your newborn insert, which you take out again, 60 centimetres, three to four months old. Your headrest and your harness moves up and down to where you need it to be. Three point harness. You just press where it's embroidered on the seat. It says press and that will allow you to extend. You can use this with the base. So a lot of the bundles, it comes with the base. Um, and the price on this is £99 for your car seat. So again, it's under that £100 mark. Yeah. And your base is £100. So it's so, a really good price, isn't it? A good price, just under £200 for your base and your car seat, but it obviously does work out less if you're buying in a bundle with your Oyster 3 push chair. Yeah. You can probably see here on the rig that we've got, and this is the Maxi Cozy Marble. Um, slightly different, isn't it? We've got this yeah. one out as a bit of a difference. It has on a really good offer at the minute. It's on special offer, so it is more expensive than your other seats, but it does. it's not that much more because it comes with its own base. And also for what it does. And for what it does, it's got your extra features. So this it's is the <clears throat> marble that goes up to 85 centimetres, so again, around the 15 months age, but still a maximum of 13 kilos, which all these seats are. Yep. So whichever they reach first, whether they reach the um, height or the weight limit, still got a maximum, so you need to bear that in mind as well. Yeah. Um, so the RRP of the car seat with its base is 279, but at the minute it's down to 229. So it's a really good price, yeah, isn't it? It's a really, really good, price. good price. So it includes, and it's really clever. It I is clever. Like it. Yeah. it includes the base. It comes with the base when you buy it. You can buy a base separate. So if you had two cars, yeah, to buy an extra base. You can yeah. just buy the base on its own. You but don't it, have to. The reason it comes with the base is because you can't belt it in. Yeah. So it's not an optional extra having a base no. to make it easier to get Whereas, the car seat in and out. You have to use yeah. it on there. All the others we've got here, they all can be used with the adult seat belt in the car. <coughs> um, this one can't because of the feature it has on it. Yeah. So to remove this from the car, <coughs> this is a little bit heavier because we've got a little helper in there. <laughs> so this is your Isofix base. Attaches with your Isofix points, very similar to any other um, base that you can use these car seats on. Attaches here, you've got green and green, and your leg when it's done properly, and green there again as yeah. well. This is to release, and this is to um, adjust your um, Isofix, I Isofix bars. Yeah. <clears throat> so in there, you can see baby is in the newborn insert. This is quite a small um, doll we've got in there, so newborn insert still and it's in not place. Baby David that people keep asking. It's not Baby David. I don't think this one's even got a name, poor um, little thing. It, Leo. It's an ergo baby. Oh, Kirstie, is it Leo? Kirsty's called it Leo. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Leo. <laughs> now, the reason that these Isofix arms are stuck like this is because you need a bit more room because it's, it's an almost, I think it's 157 degrees degree angle. recline. Yeah. So it's a bit better to show you with baby in there because then we can show you the position. So that's like a standard kind of cradle position, seat. isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so quite up right there. But if you open flat out and baby's head will baby, naturally move. Yeah. <laughs> this baby does not move, so we move it. So we have to it. go Ooh. lay down, baby. <laughs> um, it automatically drops baby into a flat position, drops the head back so they're not got it resting on their chin. Airways are open and more clear, and so oxygen levels don't <laughs> drop as much. You can People saying, poor David, it's not the start of the show today. <laughs> oh, no, we can't have the David. start of the show every day, no. unfortunately. So you've got an independent hood, and on this one, it's a really big hood. Yeah. See how big that and is? And it's got that ventilator panel, which is very unique. And you've unique. got the ventilation panel, like Georgia said. You can pull that, and you've then got plenty of aeration, even with the hood down, protecting them from the sun. You can see Leo in there, yeah. resting nice and protected. But again, it's also, you can have that up in the car, and again, you've also got the mirror, but you can also see from the back if you was to quickly like glance or you can see, way. Yeah, yep. you can kind of see that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. So if you wanted to, you could keep this seat in the recline position all the time because it's not adjusted by any of the handle or anything, so it doesn't matter. You can take it out of the car in the recline position, yeah. put it on your push chair in the recline position. People are saying, I can't believe how small the base is. The base is a very narrow base. Yes, it um, is, yeah. Which is really often, nice. They stick out further than yeah, the car, um, so you don't I think it was... Is it Lucy Ann said, my base looks massive compared to that. Yeah. And someone also asked, and they must have missed the name, this is the Maxi Cozy Marble. So um, on offer at the moment, reduced from 279 to 229. Yeah. But you've got your base in with that. So some car seats are more than that just for the car seat. I size um, tested R129. It's a newer car seat from um, Maxi Cozy. But for that price, we've kind of put it in with our, with our um, budget friendly lower priced car seats even though it's a really good really good clever car seat joshy joshy i think you mentioned on a previous slide that we can do a whatsapp call with you guys to see if we've fitted the car seat correctly that yeah. would be amazing yeah so we do video appointments um it doesn't have to it's normally on google meet um but you can book that through our websites it will 
give you the option to kind of book straight straight through there. We can kind of double check, and you can take the if you use your phone. I think we've got one, one this car. afternoon. Somebody's bought a Sato car seat. It wants it checking check to make yeah. sure baby's okay in there. So. Yeah, and um, we we try and have obviously normally when the stores open, we would do physical car checks and fit them for you. But um, we're more than happy to check the car seat for you. Yeah, so just book appointment through the website. Or if it's easy, you can just send um, a Facebook message as well with um, either an image or. Yeah. Um, a video of us just to check as well if that's quicker and easier for you yeah but yeah either is absolutely fine with us yeah uh, megan swift what height do you take the foam out of the maxi cozy cabrio fix my baby is 25 inches long and a very long baby he's struggling to fit now and he's uh, he's 10 weeks old so with the cabrio fix because it's on the older regulation r44 it doesn't go on height so really it's more of just when he looks yeah. like he hasn't got enough room at 10 weeks old you're getting more to um, the three-month mark almost. So right. it's between three and four months that yeah. you remove you it take depending it on them. So if you've got a bigger, chunkier baby, it might be that that newborn insert needs removing sooner. Don't be in a rush to, but if they do look uncomfortable, and physically they don't fit sit yeah. in the seat anymore. Yeah. Um, Every child's it. slightly different, isn't it, when it comes to... It's, that's why we say roughly around that sort yeah. of 60 centimetres, because every... Yeah. It's no specific age. No. Every child grows very differently. Yeah. Um, but you, the point of the insert as well is not only to offer the side protection, but also to keep them in a flatter position. Yeah. So you don't want to take it out too early, no, meaning no. they're sat with their yeah. bum right deep in the seat and then they're kind of scrunched up. Yeah. But take, if you want to, you can send us pictures with the insert in, with him in the seat, yeah. take them out and put them back in and see whether that makes a difference. That's one thing I always say. And send we, us another picture. Yeah, some, if, Especially if you're buying like a zero to four group car seat, I know we're talking about infant carriers, but yeah. they, because they are bigger seats, the insets are slightly different on them, aren't they? Yeah, so um, if you took them out, it really wouldn't be suitable. I always for try it, it with them in it. first, then try, if you think, oh, not so sure, try it without, then you, that's the best way to kind of know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and like I said, if you want us to double check, feel free to send us pictures and we yeah. can have a quick look for you. Did you want to set the iPad and I'll go for these two? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, the two we've got this side, um, we've got, so we did mention that we have got, got one pepper. on the R44 regulation, um, which is this one here. Um, this is the, um, the Joy Gem, really popular one, I know a lot of our customers have had this and it's a really popular one, isn't it? The, yeah, the gem. It's such because a great it's such price. a good price, yeah. Um, so Joy do go one step further with that. It is one of the brands like Maxi Cozy, like Cybex, Be Safe, the car seat specific brands. Yeah. They do go one step further with their testing. So it is an R44 seat. We would always recommend going for I size if your budget allows. But if you want to um, lower budget R44 seat, then it's it's still a, um, a safe. It's still a safe seat. seat. Yeah. Still a safe seat. Um, price of this one is 59.99. It's coming on offer, which is a, such a good price, isn't it? Mm. Um, it's normally 70 pounds. And this will last roughly around 12 to 15 months. Because um, that's on weight rather than height. Yeah, so they, whereas before we said centimetres, on the eye size regulation, it would go off length of little one. This is simply, um, yeah, just off weight, which is, again, the 13 kilograms. You can see here, um, the hood is attached to your handle. So it is a case of maybe if you bring your, hood, uh, sorry, your handle back, you will lose that hood um, feature. But it is a nice um, sort of stretchy material on there. You can probably tell if I just bring the hood back on. Both. Claire says so she's got the Joy Gem. She really wanted the next one up, um, but at the time just couldn't afford it. So yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing. Um, yeah, everybody needs a car seat, and you just have to go with what's in in your budget. It's always good to, to say, it, no matter. Yeah, everyone's budget's slightly different. Um, we always say, obviously, eye size is safer, and then. Um, you've got your offer for which we still it's still a safe car seat. Still safe, still legal. Still so legal, it's yeah. Fine to use. Um, but yeah, there's big. It depends, doesn't it? Now a lot more eye size seats are on a good budget, like I say we're showing here. Yeah. Um, but historically they would tend to be a bit more bit yeah. pricier. Yeah. yeah. So the next one up is your Joy Eye Gem, which is next to it. You can kind of see the difference. Yeah. You can kind of see the extra padding, the gem, and the eye gem. You've got an, a, a fixed headrest in there that you just squeeze yeah. and move up, whereas you've got to move your harness up and down so it's just those extra features but it's still safely going to carry your baby so yeah really really nice and safe again you've got this insert in here um, and you've got this lovely big wedge that again just going to keep your little one nice and flat in the car seat um, and that will again roughly it depends on child because it's an r44 seat um, it roughly depends on on size but it's normally around sort of that 60 centimeter mark um, and Amelia says she loves the great advice we always give. Thank you, oh, Amelia. Thank you. That's we, kind yeah. of you. I say we try and it is it is hard, isn't it? Looking at yeah, all it's the, a minefield looking at car seats. Yeah. There's so much choice. How do you know which one to choose? Yeah. You might see a car seat a pushchair bundle that has different car yeah. seats. In which one do you choose? Yeah. 
you may think because there's such a big price difference is this one not safe and that one is or yeah you just never know do you and no. also a lot of people don't necessarily think about that next stage option the base yeah. that is compatible could take that next stage seat yeah and things like that lucy Ann's asked do the babies have to be able to hold their head independently before you remove the padding no because at three to four months they're not necessarily going to be able to probably lots of babies would be able yeah. to but it's more about the height um, and when they can safely be used with the insert the longer they are that they need to come out they've still got the support um side yes. to, at the side and sometimes it's it's different sections so i know one of the maxi cozy car seats the, the headrest is separate so if you want to move the body part leave the headrest in yes. if you still feel that they need that support yeah, and as well with the um, oyster capsule, that's got th like three stages, really, yeah. hasn't it? With it, so it's got you the body could support the head support and the wedge and the wedge. So yeah, three different Move stages. Out different ones. Um, so with the eye gem, you can obviously have the eye fixed base, um, but also it um, you can seat belt this with the adult seat belt again. So again, simple lap to lap, and then diagonal around the back, back. into the blue. You see there. Emily um, said, lovely car seats. Josh says, I think you prefer it when the hood just doesn't fit to the handle. I think that's my personal preference too, just so if you do need to move it, you don't lose it. But Yeah. Um, looking at one that is independent, you've got your iGem 2 here. Um, the hood is really, really nice. It's got a lovely yeah. large hood. If you um, are popping it onto your chassis quickly to nip in and out of the shop, yeah. it is a huge hood. Huge hood, and it then does the zip compartment just then reveals that nice panel of ventilation which is really really nice lucy says the joy looks great quality she's never had that brand before yeah their car seats um, are really good quality yeah. and a good price which we love too yeah she so one thing um we i mean i must admit i like a lot of joy products they do really nice car seats they yeah. do the high chairs and push chairs yeah. and things as well so they do have a good variety josh has said that they do look very similar when placed by side by side i think they're probably based on the same shell yeah um it's just the, the fabrics are finished difference and obviously the insert the, yeah the insert. and the headrest um, yeah that's been added as well and obviously one has been tested to a higher regulation yeah the eye gem looks a, say it looks a little bit just slightly larger but yeah claire said the eye gem looks comfy more padded yeah yeah you've got all this wedge in uh, all the padding in here so it includes that wedge as well and then it's really nice because you've just got your button at the back and that's how you would adjust the height of your straps so with your straps um, one handy thing we like to say is the um, straps need to be level or an inch below this one's shoulders. That's the position where you're looking at. So as child starts to grow, because it's not a good not one of the positions that they go in necessarily is going to fit perfectly level with your child's shoulders, depending on their height. So just go slightly below yeah. um, if you have to. Yeah, rather than going really really above, just go yeah. level or a little It'll bit. It'll just stop below. them coming out of their car seat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can adjust that. And then a great way, I'll show you on our marble, um, but how to know the, how tight to have the straps. We say two finger gap, um, just not be able to spin your fingers around. So this is really, really nice and tight because um, I can get my two things in, but I just can't physically spin my fingers around. Yeah, so if you could pinch that web in, that would be too loose. Yeah. Um, again, if you're checking um, with what they're wearing in the car, you can always pop them in in it first. Don't alter the straps, take them out, take the jacket off, put them back in. And if there is a difference and you can then pinch the material or it's too loose, that yeah. jacket is then too thick to be wearing in the car. No yeah. snowsuits, no coats. No. Um, because if you naturally think about it, if you've got like a thicker coat, um, there's naturally going to be air in there. Yeah. And the harness is going to squish, it's going to push in the air accident. out. Yeah. And there's going to be that gap More between gap. the um, harness and this one's chest. And that's not what you want. Um, but yes, for the price of the iGem 2, it's currently on offer for £99.99. Is it usually 130 130 yeah. yeah. So it goes up to 85 centimetres, which is roughly around your 15-month-old, yeah. which is really, really nice. Nice, long-lasting um, car seat for an infant carrier. Yes, yeah, so you can see how big, with that headrest moved into the higher position, how yeah. deep and how much more room it's going to give them. Yeah. And another thing that we do get sometimes is, um, with an infant carrier, is my child outgrowing it because their feet are coming over the car seat yeah um, it's not to do with how long like their legs can come over the car seat that's absolutely fine and um, to, to know sort of the, the length obviously you have got your guide so your 85 or your 75 depending on which car seat or maximum weight um, or your maximum weight um, but you just don't want little one's head protruding over this sort of head support here because essentially this is what's protecting little one yeah. in that collision so with infant carrots is the top of the head next stage seats it's their eyes level with the backrest yeah so it does change different on different, on car different seats, ones. Yeah, for infant carriers, it needs to be the top of the head protected. Yes. Um, with your the isofix base that you can have for your iGem 2, uh, again you've got um, 
different options, but your iBase Advanced, which will then take the next stage seat, is currently on offer um, for £99.95, so it's really so it's good. it's the same price as the iBase, was it? iBase uh, is a little bit less. iBase is a little bit less, it's uh, £30 cheaper, the iBase ah, okay, is. Okay, yeah, so quite a big difference. Um, but it should be £125, so still it's got a really good offer on, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm just going to have a quick look through the comments. Didn't know that about the next stage seat. Yeah, still got your maximum height or maximum weight, but if their eyes are um, then level with the seat, that's another indicator that they've outgrown it. Yeah. Very long lasting. May update the gem to eye gem for next baby. Yeah, if you if you want to um, update it and go for the newer regulation, it's not, it's not a bad idea. Um, but also, if anyone wants price. to see these car seats in more like detail or compare to side by side, um, we have got that video consultation option. So Ash, Ashley's just said, "Who's the baby today?" Oh, you missed that bit. This is Leo today. Baby Leo today, not David. Everyone no. knows David. Baby Leo. The, Leo's been in a couple of lives, but yeah. not as many. Lucia, yeah, this is kind of our newborn. It's our ergo baby um, doll, so it's more used for when we're doing the baby wearing demonstrations because yeah. it's a nice size. Um, Lucy Ann, she says they just pop a little cardigan on and use a blanket. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. Just stopping anything um, interfering with the harness. Blankets over the top is going to keep them more than warm. Yeah. Or just go outside if you feel that like the car's really cold. Just go start your engine a little minute earlier and let it warm up a little yeah. bit when it's cold out there in the morning. Because we would say, I mean, it's natural, isn't it? When you're cold, you want to wear a nice thick coat. But yeah. safety-wise, it's not yeah. safe for a little one in the car. It's always a nice blanket going over the top is and if you always do it like my kids they've always been told that so they get straight in the car straight get the car uh, the coat, coat straight off. off and get in the car seat yeah uh, fiona she's much easier way to adjust the straps than others she's used yeah just pressing the button should loosen um, um ashley likes the darker one better i'm presuming she means the gem over the eye gem, gem. two Lucianne, the hoods are so much better than where they were with my first baby. The one we had was small and was a mesh material that ripped in the end. Oh no. Oh, yeah, no. so um, they They're are a lot quite a substantial now. material now yeah. on most of them. Definitely. Which is the one that is safe, Lianne's asked. If you mean the gems, the eye gem or the eye. Uh, the, I gem 2 or the gem, gem, the I gem 2 is the one, if it's got I in it, it tends to mean that it's an I, I size tested seat. seat. So R129, newer regulation seat. Just have that extra test in. Yeah. Um, safe, safer. Yeah. Uh, what is the diff? Oh, hang on. What's the difference between the Cloud Z and the S that look the same? I mean, the bigger seat. Oh, the Serona S and the Serona Z. So the Serona Z, I hope that I'm going to go through that, so I hope that's what you mean. Well, it catches up with me. Let us know if, if it's not. Yeah, if, if I'm talking about the wrong thing, just say start. I don't need to talk, talk about that. Um, so the Serona S comes integrated with its base. You can't take it off. The Serona Z is the next stage seat to use after you've used your Cloud Z or uh, on the base Z. So you use it on the same base. So it, like, it's like a modular system. So you can yeah. use it on the same base. So it's your next stage seat if you have the Cloud Z and base Z. Sure, um, but yeah, whereas the Serona S you can use from birth straight away, so you don't need to take it off from the base. Yeah. So that's the difference. Essentially the same seat, but one How you can use works, modular yeah. and take it off and put your uh, infant carrier on. Yeah. Now you're talking about, I'm asking, thank you. That's <laughs> Good, I'm glad. She knew, she knew. Great visuals and very informative. Thank you, ladies. And cameraman. Oh, Liz the always says gets thank you to the recently. A few he does. Days, yeah. We'll have to get him in with us one day. We'll do a selfie. Swap around. Selfie, yeah. Yeah, you can. Cameraman you can, can do the. the you filming. can talk, Jose, and I will film you. <laughs> uh, any more questions from anybody about? Has anyone got a favourite out of the ones that they've seen yeah. here? Yeah. What features do you look for in infant carrier? Yeah. And what oh, if you had? I have missed a comment different. from Ashley. Actually, do you have the car seat that comes with the Oyster Three here today? Yes, that was the um, capsule that we've got here. Comes in your matching fabrics. Um, suitable from birth, which is forty centimeters up to eighty-three centimeters maximum. Um, 13 kilos. You've got your hood, which um, just hooks onto your handle, newborn insert, and three point harness yeah. as well. Price of that one, say, is £99. And yep. if you want in the base, it's £100. Yep. Or it's in with your bundle, bundle if you yeah. go for a full travel system. It's a nice one to look at, isn't it? I like the fact that a lot of pushchairs now have really good eye size seats. Yeah. Yeah. They're becoming more and more available to yeah. more and more people to have them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Debbie says, Yes, would love to see him. <laughs> Josh says, haha, yes, I'm the camera guy. <laughs> Ashley says, oh, good to know. Uh, Sean says, I had a, had a mother R carpet. Maybe, oh, she's put it again. Mother care car seat, but Joy seems more safe. 
Depends on the regulation. I don't know how they test on the the safety testing, but yeah, Joy because it's a specific yeah. car seat brand, um, it's nice. Especially it's on the eye size, eye size regulation. Yeah. Oh, Lucianne says perfect. We have the Z base, so know what we need next. Yes. Yeah, so the Serona Z would then fit for your next stage seat on the same base. Yeah. Debbie's favourite is the one that reclines. Yeah. Your marble. Yeah. Nice one. And I say really good price. Again, it's two hundred and twenty nine pound on offer. Should be two hundred and seventy nine. Yeah. Lu Lucianne, she loves the Sabix uh, Clad Z, but from what we've shown today, she would be tempted to look at the one on the stand that reclines. Yeah, so similar to Clad Z, the Cloud Z is not a budget seat, um, no. but it's very clever and very safe, um, just really well in the testing. Um, but this is kind of one step further because this reclines in the car, whereas your Cloud Z is just on the pushchair chassis. Yeah. Um, Fiona, she's got the Joy Fair two year old and she really likes the brand. Yeah. Leanne's got the eye gem. Yeah, no, it's a, re it's a really good brand. They're all good brands, the car seat brands that we've got we out. We do love all the ones that we've got out, yeah, as well. Um, good variety from Maxi Cozy, you've got yeah. the Oysters, you've got your Joy um, yeah. as well. And obviously, you, there's lots more options um, as well. Yeah. And increasing in, in budget as well. So, like I said, you can go up to £420 for a car seat with a base Yeah. Um, with your infant carrier. Yeah, but we just thought we'd have a look at some budget-friendly options. Yeah. At the minute, we know um, it can be hard. Lots yeah. of my husband's still not back at work because he's no. a chef, so it is um, it is it's a hard. test in time at the minute. So hopefully we will be back to normal. I know we've got an announcement later today, so we'll see. I know, we've already been, I've already been talking about Christmas this morning, and fingers say, crossed. Yeah, because I know crossed. a lot of you are waiting um, to come into store. Yeah. If you do need to speak to us before or have any advice, obviously you can message, call, email, or um, have a one-to-one -one video consultation. But hopefully we'll be back with you in store. And soon you can as come well. in and actually physically push it. It's like a dream now, isn't it? It's like a dream to be able to come and push no. a pusher. Push a pusher. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, everyone that's commented ha is in the draw to win the safety first. Yeah, we've got two winners. So um, we've got the safety first. Yeah, so not one lucky winner, two. Um, and price of these is if, you, if you're not the lucky winner but you are still interested in, in the car mirror, they are £13. Yep, and price. we have a lot of stock of them. So yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be with you tomorrow. Nice. Um, Anne Marie says reclining the car we regret her seat's quite slanted. Yeah, it's good for that. If you have got quite bucket yeah. seats, um, have be able to recline in it. It just does naturally help. brings baby's head down yeah. and reduces that risk of chin to chest, doesn't it? Ash has said quite a good point. So it's, she said it's so hard trying to choose a pram and car seat this time. Yeah. But also, if you if you decided it, it doesn't, if you don't just choose a, a push chair bundle because it comes with a car seat, actually look at the car seat that comes with and make sure that you're happy with what yeah. it offers and the safety of it as well. And as well, um, most push chairs now, obviously, well, in general, really, they if you just doesn't, don't like the, the car seat with it, you don't have to then avoid that pushchair in general. No. You can put other car seats on the pushchair frame. Car, other, yeah, other ones. They just, we just bundle it. certain ones with it. Um, yeah. Probably my most popular, um, all the ones that they would recommend. Um, but there are a lot that will go on it. If you are um, kind of interested and have any questions about what will fit on certain pushchairs, Send a message. Yeah, we can absolutely. Help. Emily said, which Starbix is the more longevity one? I think it was a live back along just to save some pennies. I think it goes 16, 20 months. That would be Starbix Cloud Z. It's one of the longest lasting infant yeah. carriers. Goes up to 87 centimetres, which is about um, 15 to 18 months old. So it is a good lasting one Yeah, for you. Um, can you put Isofix on the Joy car seat? Yeah, both of those can go on um, Isofix bases. Um, yeah. There's a, a bit of choice uh, to choose for one of those. Ashley's asked, can you put three car seats on the back bench of a car? It depends on your car. Yeah. If you've got three full-size seats, it's a lot easier. If you've got a very, like a half-size seat in the middle, it's almost impossible to put yeah. three car seats on the back because a half seat is not the size of a car seat. Right. See how much room they take up. Um, so a lot of people come in when they're having their third child. I need to fit a third infant carrier in. Sometimes it's impossible. Yeah. I know somebody mentioned when we talked about the marble, how small the base is. Oh, that's yeah. great because you can then fit three on, on the back. That's not necessarily the case. You have to have three lots of ice fix points, well, six lots of ice fix points in your car to be able to have three. Ice if you had three ice fix, yeah, you yeah. could belt the other one in. But yeah. Um, but like, say for example, if you were specifically looking at the marble, that is only ice fix fitted, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but as well, the base is thin, but the car seat's not as such. Yeah. <laughs> Claire can't wait to be able to go out for a meal. Weather spoons will do me. Yeah, anything. <laughs> yeah, will anything. Do. Cafe be it. <laughs> doesn't have to be a five star restaurant. No, no. anything. Anyway, I think where you don't have to today. cook it, it would be a dream, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> it's better for the takeaways. Yeah. Josh says, it's been hard baby shopping, but these lives have made it so much easier. That's nice to hear. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. Debbie loves the mirrors. Elizabeth says, it's hard to choose. Mm -hmm. Keely can't wait to come into store. I think we're going to be very busy when we first open, which I'm really glad about, because yeah. I think it's just a lot of people have wait, been waiting yeah. to come in. Ash is just wondering if it's safe for one to go in the middle seat of the car. 
Yeah, uh, the, actually the safest place in the car is the middle seat on yeah. the back seat because it's the furthest away from anywhere that a crash is going to occur. Yeah. So um, absolutely fine, as long as you, you can fit it correctly in there, that there's nothing in the middle for a, to affect the base, if it's ITFX fitted or that you can just yeah. belt it in. Belting in the middle is usually easier. Uh, really need an infant car seat as my Venetia car seat is too narrow. Yeah, so next stage seat for you then, Penny. Yeah. Ash is booked a one-to-one. -one to look at some prams today, so we'll see you oh, later see, than Ashley. See you soon then. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying the mirrors are worth the money, so I'll set, put it on my list. Yeah, yeah. definitely, Josh. We've got the eyes. wish list on our website as well, so you yeah. can always add to your wish Added list. That. Leanne says that the iGem fit on the Oyster Push chair. Yes, it yeah. has been tested on there, so you can use that yeah. with the iGem if you want to go for that instead of another seat. I'm just making sure that we're not missing any questions. It's the thing, isn't it? We get a lot of questions questions and comments coming through yeah don't want to miss any yes your website is so good in the descriptions of the travel systems thank you has everybody seen the new website yeah what do you think let us know it went live saturday night yeah yes so i come in sunday morning and i was like what it's, oh, i saw change <laughs> how do i find things yeah so hopefully it's a little bit user friendly and looks yeah. really pretty now um it's still a work in progress so things will be added to it but hopefully it's a bit um easier to use yeah Ashley, thanks for answering all the questions today. You guys have been brilliant. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Tornadoes between Joy and Cybex seats. Torn between the Cybex <laughs> and Joy seats. <laughs> a tornado? What's going on? <laughs> we had just bought a new car, so not too bad. I've got a seven seat here. Yeah, exactly. You've got a bit yeah. more choice then. You just need to check sometimes if you can fit car seats in your rear seats. Some you can, some you can't. Like in the, in the very back yeah. the boot seats. Although, I would say, big family, we had a seven seat and I was, us were, oldest were always thrown in the back. Come on, yeah, back in the, the seat, back, back seat. Yeah. Loads of people saying they haven't seen the new website, so they're going to go and have a look. So yeah, any feedback, just feel free to message us. Yeah, and we want to make it easy for people to look at. If there's any information missing, the, finding things from the main page, please let us know. Yeah. Right, shall we draw our two winners? Draw. Lucy's heading over to the website once the live is finished. You need to find that rain cover. Yes, it will be on there. Okay, Any will. problems finding it? Let's know. <laughs> yes. Fiona, one last question, sorry, quickly. Do you deliver the UK wide? Yes, all over the UK. Yeah. And next day delivery. Next day delivery, yeah. About to say. With DPD. You'll get a text message on the morning. Right, okay. So I'm going to draw the winner. You shout out, yeah? It. I'll scroll. Stop. Oh, Ashley Crowley. I'm going to, well done, Ashley, I'm just going to... So if you can send a message with your details um, and we'll get one popped on the van today with you and it'll be with you tomorrow. So yeah, yeah. we'll you'll get um, the safety first little mirror um, and it'd be lovely to see people using them, wouldn't it? It um, would, yeah. Send us your pictures. We love to see a baby or just winner pictures. So, yeah. And we, we like to share them as well and let people know how people are finding products for Who's real. Who's going to be the second winner? Ready, whenever you're ready. I'm, got, I'm scrolling up just and down. scrolling, just scrolling. Stop. And Josh Joshy. Oh, well done. Well done, Josh. He was going to add it to his list, and I now say, you don't I need think, to. I think, I remember when I had the iPad, he, um, he was saying he needs to add one to his list. No, you don't need to. You've got one on the way to you. So again, there just send go. a message to us with your details, um, and we can get that popped on the van. We'll have it with you tomorrow. Well done, everybody. Um, and he was the one as well, I think, asked about um, because there isn't a gap. So I think he can just strap it around the yeah, side. Yeah, so if you're have, having trouble, hopefully it will fit your car. But yeah, yeah send us a, as a picture if, um, yeah. but if thank not. You, you might, I think the comments, it's taken a while to come through. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay, I think, on the comments. Yeah, there is a delay. Yeah. But yes, well done, Josh, and well done, Ashley. Well done. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you found it helpful looking at some of the budget-friendly infant carriers. Um, of course, we are going live, like always, Monday to Friday. You've got us five days a week, guys. Yeah, I said to them on Friday, you've not got us for two days, aren't you, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> but we will be back. your feed. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen to our lovely voices, you know, five days a week. But um, we're back around 11 o'clock every day, Monday to Friday. Um, and we do um, have a giveaway every day, don't we? We're not getting any some sneaky. good ones coming up. Yeah, yeah, some good ones. So make sure you join, share with friends and family so you've got more chance of winning. Um, but yes, have a lovely Monday, everybody. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. And we'll see Ashley.
Somebody said Shell Point. We'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>